Hello, welcome to Maths with J. Here we want to find an expression for the nth term of this sequence. We've been told that it's a quadratic sequence, and you can see that we're starting with a negative number and the numbers are decreasing. If you haven't yet looked at one of these before, it might be a good idea for you to look at the earlier example we did where we had positive numbers and the numbers were increasing. OK, so let's have a look at how we're going to deal with this. So I like to start this by writing the numbers out in a table. So we're thinking about where the numbers are in the sequence. So we've been told we want to find the nth term. So we have got the first second, third, fourth, and fifth terms. So let's use the letter T to represent the term. So we know the first term is negative 3, the next negative 13, then we've got negative 31, negative 57, and negative 91. So what we're going to do is find the difference between these terms. So that means we're looking for all the differences here. So we can see that we're subtracting 10 to get from the first to the second term. And then we're subtracting 18 to get from negative 13 to negative 31. And then we're taking away 26 to get to negative 57. And then the final difference is negative 34. And then, finding the differences between those differences, we find that each time we get the same number. So that tells us we've got a quadratic sequence. And what we're going to do next is divide this number by 2 to get the value of a, to get the coefficient of n squared in this formula. So we know that our formula is going to be minus 8 divided by 2 times n squared plus something else, plus bn plus c. So we know that we've got minus 4n squared plus bn plus c. Now the bn plus c is simply a linear sequence and that's really easy to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract negative 4n squared from each of the terms in our sequence so that we leave ourselves with a linear sequence which will be easy to work with. So let's just clear out some of this working. So what we want to do is subtract negative 4n squared. In other words, we're going to add 4n squared. So let's first of all just work out what 4n squared is for each value of n. So 4 times 1 squared will be 4. And then 4 times 2 squared, so that's 4 4, so that's 16. And then 4 times 3 squared, 4 9s is 36. 4 times 4 squared, that's 4 16s is 64. And 4 times 5 squared, 4 times 25 will be 100. So what we're doing is subtracting the a n squared term from our a n squared plus b n plus c. So we're going to end up with b n plus c when we combine together the original sequence and taking away the four n, negative 4 n squared. So we're adding together t and 4 n squared. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Negative 13 plus 16 is 3. Negative 31 and 36 comes to 5. Negative 57 plus 64 is 7. And negative 91 plus 100 is 9. So hopefully you can now see that we're left with a really simple sequence. So a nice linear sequence where we have a constant difference. So we need to add on to to get from one term to the next. So that, in fact, gives us our value of b, doesn't it? So we know that the linear sequence is going to be 2n plus whatever the previous term would be in that sequence. So the sequence is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So the term 
before the one, well, we need to do the opposite of adding on two, so we need to take away two, so one minus two is negative one. So the formula for one, three, five, seven, nine is two n minus one. We can check that by trying out a value of n. So if we try n is three, two, three is a six, six minus one does give us five, which is the third term. So now we can put the two bits together to get our formula. So remember, we started off by finding out what the an squared was. That was minus 4n squared. And now we've just found that the other part of the sequence is 2n minus 1. And as usual, it's a good idea to check that. So you can choose any value you like. I wouldn't choose 1 because that's a bit too simple, isn't it? What should we choose? Um, should we go for 5? So when n is 5, we get minus 4 times 5 squared plus 2 times 5 minus 1. So that's minus 100 plus 10 minus 1. So minus 90 minus 1 minus 91. So it seems to work.